This is CES M M A. Here is our Metro Motor Group tale of the tape. Three rounds in the heavyweight division. John Johnson putting his perfect record on the line. He is 6-0 with six knockouts, taking on the tough veteran Keith Bell, who's 5-4-1 with three knockouts. Let's send it down to Adam Palazzo for the official introduction. This fight is scheduled for three rounds in the heavyweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner, weighing in at 264 pounds with a professional record of 5-4-1, with three wins coming by way of knockout. Hailing from Newport News, Virginia, ladies and gentlemen, Keith Bad News Bell. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Weighing in at 254 pounds with a perfect professional record of six wins and zero losses with all six wins coming by way of knockout. Hailing from Malden, Massachusetts, ladies and gentlemen, Big John Johnston. All right, guys, three rounds under the Unified Rules of Mixed Martial Arts. I want a good, clean fight. Any questions red? Any questions blue? You want to touch gloves? Do it now. Come out swing. Here we go. We're back once again live cage side from Twin River Casino. Mike Parenti joined by Scott Ream moving up in the heavyweight division. Here we are. The CES MMA heavyweight champ John Johnson in the red and black trunks taking on Keith Bell and the American flag trunks coming out of Newport News, Virginia. This is a non-title fight, but still a big fight nonetheless for Johnson and perhaps the toughest fight of his career, notwithstanding his title fight win over UFC vet Josh Hendricks. Johnson, of course, as we noted, is 6-0 with all six wins coming by knockout, including that win over Josh Hendricks in March. Yeah, he really uh, toughed that win out. Well, something, just, that was a weird transition. Not quite sure how that happened. Looked like a Looks flying like knee land. Oh, big right, big right hand by Bell. He's got Johnson in trouble. If Bell keeps pouring this on, don't know if John, nice job by Johnson to recover. Johnson he kind of rolled right. his eyes. Yeah. I don't know if Bell brought him back, but Johnson still might be a little, little shook. And yeah, now Bell with a big takedown here, and plenty of time as well, just under four minutes to go. That big right hand clipped Johnson, and it definitely had him stunned. His eyes rolled for a second. Nice recovery there. We saw how well he recovered in the Hendricks fight. Now, Bell is on a two-fight losing streak, but he's got some tough fights under his belt, Scott. Bellator vet, and he had won three in a he's, row. He's working a he's working a key lock now. Bell was, but we got some blood coming out of yeah. Johnson's left eye. Yeah, Johnson's bloodied up pretty bad here in this opening round. And he's now, got Bell's got mount. Johnson does a great job of getting off. Not sure Johnson's quite right, Scott. Well, we'll see right here. It would behoove Johnson to nice little short hook nice and a left, knee. Yep, followed by the knee by Johnson, still wiping that, that blood. That cut is going to be an yeah. issue. Oh, Bell goes down trying to go for the head kick, and now Johnson's got control. Let's see if, let's see if Bell can fire straight back up. Bell just slipped. He missed the head kick and just slipped, and now Johnson trying to ground and Bell, pound Bell's just fist. staying still. I don't know what this is all about. He's not even trying to move at the moment. He's got to Johnson's doing himself, a great Scott. job. Yeah. He's, He's tapping tapped. from strikes. It's over. Keith Bell taps John Johnson with the improbable victory. Not sure what happened here, but Keith Bell taps out. One of those strikes must have done something, Scott, to cause that tap out. It did not look like anything was really landing all that effectively. But Keith Bell is flat on his stomach, and now he's finally getting up. So we'll see what happened here. Very surprising finish, similar to the Hendricks fight, which kind of ended unexpectedly, where John Johnson just sort of grinded it out. And it appeared early on in this opening round that Keith Bell had John Johnson out. Johnson would stood the damage, got back to his feet. I, I think some of those, 
you see in Bell hold the back of his head. I, I don't I don't know. Well, it looked like some might have clipped the back of the head. Johnson was raining down with those hammer fists and then trying to get in on the side of those right hands. Well, the referee was right there. Kevin McDonald's excellent. Right, he would have noticed something if he was hitting him in the back of the head. He did not call for anything. He didn't stop the action at all. Keith Bell essentially just taps out. We're going to see the replay here and just see what happened if we can try to figure out what it went down. Now we're not going to be able to see it from this angle here. We just see the but hammer Kevin fist. Kevin McDonald is right there. And there are the strike. Johnson, uh, Bell rather, just taps to the left hand. So something had to have happened. He is holding the back of his head there in that replay. Here's another angle. I think more or less a defense mechanism. There is one in the back of the head, clearly, that Kevin McDonald missed. Maybe two or three, surprisingly. I think you're right, Scott. And there's another one. Bell kind of looks up for a second at McDonald. You can see him peek out of the corner of his eye, and then he taps out, maybe realizing he wasn't going to get the call here, and just taps. But nonetheless, it's a win for John Johnson. Another knockout win. He is now 7-0 with seven KOs. What an amazing fight. So many ups and downs in just those two short minutes. It seemed like Johnson was on the verge of losing and then all of a sudden he pulls out the win. So another big win for Big John. Let's send it down to Adam Palacio. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner. Round number one in two minutes and 20 seconds by tap out. Big John Johnson!